is absolutely a public safety risk. Uh, these are tools that have been shown to save lives. This will make it harder to mitigate the impacts of hazardous weather. Storm warnings ahead over the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration plan to eliminate weather research facilities across the country. This week, scientists and elected officials predicted dire consequences. The plan calls for closing all NOAA research labs, including a South Florida facility focused on researching hurricanes. It reduces NOAA's full-time staff by about 17%. Critics warn of losing data that dramatically improves predictions and forecasts. One of the facilities on the closed list is the Atlantic Oceanographic and Meteorological Lab in Miami and its Hurricane Research Division. Robert Atlas was the longtime director until retirement and now Director Emeritus, zooming in with us from California today. Robert Atlas, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. So I, I uh, catch us up on the actual status of these uh, forecast cuts. Wh where are they in the pipeline? Uh, so the, the president uh, has uh, and the administration have proposed these cuts. Um, they're at the point where Congress will be weighing in. Um, and I believe that this week the House Appropriations Committee will meet to discuss them. Uh, and so you are fully expecting watching what has been going on in the doge world of the trump administration that you know at, at least something is going to going to go is that is that kind of a valid assessment uh yes but uh, the question is uh what should go and what shouldn't go and any of the facilities that result in saving lives and helping the economy definitely should not go yeah, that sounds like a pretty good headline uh, that anyone might buy into. So so take us through, I mean, get granular with us because, you know, by and large, we know that there are hurricane hunting planes. We know there's Doppler radar, but but take us take us into the office, take us into the lab. What what do you have to work with and what does it do and what do you fear is going to go unfunded? So um, the Atlantic Oceanographic and Meteorological Laboratory, AOML, which I served as director for 14 years, um, is a rather unique place in that we have both uh, observational scientists and theoretical scientists working side by side with meteorology and oceanography interacting together as it does in the real world. AOML does uh, the development of new and improved observing systems and advanced hurricane forecast models. The scientists at AOML and its cooperative institute at the University of Miami are the ones who fly into the hurricanes on the NOAA Hurricane Hunter aircraft. Without those scientists to go, the Hurricane Hunter observations would be extraordinarily less useful. Um, there are complicated instruments that are on the aircraft, like the tail Doppler radar, that require scientists from AOML to be monitoring and, uh, and, and, and using. And that data goes into both the Hurricane Center and the numerical models. In addition to that, AOML scientists are the ones who deploy aerial drones that fly into hurricanes at lower altitudes that are not safe for the uh, manned aircraft. And they also deploy ocean gliders. And all of these types of observations have been shown to help improve hurricane prediction. So when we are in the newsroom during storm season and our forecasters say, you know, here's, here's the cone and here's the storm we're watching, that's where we get that information from all of those things that you just mentioned. Is that right? Yes. And um, perhaps uh, most importantly, um, when I uh, left NASA to join AOML, um, I one of the things that uh, was a, a personal goal for me was to narrow the cone of uncertainty. And the cone of uncertainty is probably less than half of what it was in 2005. And you were working with Michael Lowry, who is now our storm surge specialist. Is that right? 
Uh, yes, and with uh, everyone at the Hurricane Center and at NOAA's Environmental Modeling Center as well. So you, um, you are, I'm sorry, go ahead. I don't mean to interrupt. Oh, I was just going to say that narrowing the cone results in less people being warned uh, when it's not going to occur. And it saves tremendous amounts of uh, funding for the economy. This, um, to your to your point, the uh, the congressional hearings are underway. Neil Jacobs, who is the nominee for as NOAA administrator, told a Senate committee, essentially, "Don't worry. Our mission is to make sure our scientists and our resources are there for top-notch storm prediction." Uh, I didn't see the details, if there were any, of, of what he said. Do you know what he meant by that? And are you confident that that will occur? Uh, no, I, I, uh, I know Neil uh, very well, uh, and he's uh, an excellent scientist and will make an excellent administrator. I also know that he greatly values the work that goes on at AOML and I believe that he would try to keep the lab functional. If the lab goes away, um, there will be no way to fully mitigate the losses that would occur. It's a pretty definitive statement. Um, Dr. Atlas, do you know the budget that, well, of course you know the budget there because you were the director there. What, what is the budget and what could it be cut to to remain as functional as it needs to be? So the, when I when I was there, um, the budget was approximately twenty million dollars per year, and I, as the director, always sought to keep the costs as low as possible to have savings for uh, the economy, and also to make sure that we were an extremely good, um, uh, we, we were extremely fair to the taxpayers who fund us. Um, a, the Loss of AOML um, will cost the economy 20 to 50 times more uh, than the cost of funding it completely. In, in every part of the government, I do believe that there is uh, waste that can be cut, but we shouldn't cut the things that are essential for the safety and well-being of the nation. Well, you certainly make a good case for the local part of that. Dr. Atlas, great to have you on the program, and I hope you will be back. Thank you. And we will be right back.